Hi, I'm Tina from Wheel Women. Riding on the road where there are climbs and descents involved requires a few skills and it might even present a few new challenges for you on the day. Despite road closures and a managed safety environment, we need to look out for each other. That means regardless of whatever skill level, let's look after each other. Here's our list of what we think you guys should be doing on the day. Don't make any sudden moves. Pulling out quickly or not calling your moves can be a disaster on a crowded ride. Look first, call your move and then go. If you don't feel comfortable taking your hands off the handlebars, that's okay. Just call your move nice and loudly so everybody around you knows what you're doing. Give each other plenty of space on the road. We all love to have a chat while we're riding, but there's nothing worse than feeling crowded in, or worse, being pushed to the edge of the road. If you do happen to catch a wheel on the edge, don't try getting back on. Ride off, reposition yourself, and then get back on the road when it's clear. Let's respect each other's space. Slower riders need to keep to the left. Faster riders, you need to give fair warning that you're passing. The slower riders are often the less experienced riders, so you need to respect them and give them your support. Let's not half wheel anyone. That's a really dangerous position to be in. Keep your wheels clear of every rider. Let's be sensible on the descents. Face it, everybody loves the rush of the downhill run, but we also need to be really sensible. Ride within your own ability. Don't go faster than you can manage. Keep left if you're a slower rider and let the faster riders go past you. Don't sit on the brakes the whole way down either or you'll cook the rims. Feather the brakes. As you descend and you're going around those corners, keep the inner leg up and always keep looking ahead. Don't cross over to the other side of the road, even though it might be tempting as you're descending and going around those corners. Emergency vehicles do need to access that side of the road and we need to give them clear access all the time. The ascent's a long ride and it's going to put many of us to the test on the day. Take it easy up the climbs and do them at your pace, not somebody else's. There are no medals for the fastest up the hill. As you're climbing those hills, support your friends and plan if you're going to regroup at the top or at the bottom of the hills. Don't wait until you're thirsty to drink. You need to keep drinking the whole way. And if you can't drink while you're riding, it's okay to get off your bike and stop and have a drink. Keep eating on the ride, you'll need the energy. But make sure you bring some snack food that you're familiar with. It's no time to start trying new foods on the day. Bring what you're used to, banana, some trail mix, whatever you like to eat while you're riding. If you're feeling tired, it's okay to get off your bike and stop and have a break. We all have our own fitness levels and we all do rides differently. I'm giving you the license to get off, stop, take a break, Remember, we ride for fun. The ascent isn't a race. It's no place to get Strava segments or go for that PB time you've been hoping for. That can place others at risk as well as you. Take it easy on the day and just do what you can manage. We've really enjoyed having everybody come along to our skill sessions and training rides. Thanks so much for being there. We've loved meeting you and we wish all of you a fantastic ride. Good luck.